Welcome to another daily recap for Thursday, November 2, 2023. You are looking at a one minute chart of the SPY or spiders, which tracks the S&P 500 index. Everything between the two vertical dotted lines is Thursday's activity in the spiders. And the two horizontal lines are the levels that were calculated before the market opened this morning and produced trades. These daily levels are the basis for activating trades in the E-mini futures or ES. So let's take a look at how today's levels played out. When the spiders hit both these levels for the first time, neither one of the levels triggered trades in the ES. And this was because the clock needs to play out until after the 945 candle closes before trades are primed to, tr to trigger in the ES. This meant that for today, the first trade in the ES was activated here at 946 AM at the 426.99 level. Before the spiders got to the next level up, at 427.61, this long position profit target was hit and was closed out. And then the second level was reached pretty quickly and tr triggered a short trade in the ES. And the short trade also produced the base hit pretty quickly. So this ping pong activity produced two solid base hits and the spiders continued on their way for the rest of the day. Again, these two levels were the only ones that the spiders touched today. And there were six levels total. And by the way, there's a scenario where I'll trade the same level for the second time in a trading session if the spiders come back to visit it a second time. But today's trades did not meet the requirements for that to be an option. And I mention this because the second time the spiders came down into 426.99, this would have been another good long trade for more than a base hit because that's when the real reaction happened and the spiders took off higher. But if you were arbitrarily taking multiple bites of the apple, so to speak, at the same level multiple times, what would you have done when the price came back to 427.61 for the second time, about 10.22 a.m.? The seemingly obvious, obvious answer is you would have gone short again, but as you can see, that would have not worked the second time the spiders came into this level. It would have been a fumble. So this is why I need to see specific parameters on the board before I use that option. But, and I should also mention that it helps to use a system where trades in the ES are triggered automatically at precisely the right time and at the exact calculated level. This is because when levels are close together like this, it's unlikely you'll be precise enough to get filled at the right time and at the right price if you're entering the trades manually by buying at the market or trying to set limit orders in ES based on the correlated price on the spiders. It is possible, but you need to be vigilant and quick. I like to use an automated system to minimize slippage when entering and exiting trades in ES. But in any case, both of these levels were quick base hits and it was easy to pull eight points out of the market if you knew the levels ahead of time and how to trade them. Now let's take a look at the tracking log. Another straightforward day, two base hits produced eight total points in the ES and a little bit more money added back to your trading account. And for your reference, here are your profit potentials when trading multiple contracts. And keep an eye on these daily averages and the profit and loss percentages as uh, I go back and recreate history by calculating the daily levels going back couple years and these averages will become more refined as more data points are included in the daily average calculation. This is a long-term strategy. Just let the base hits pile up and let the law of large numbers work and you'll see how these trades are profitable in the long run. Here's a sneak peek at some history that is currently being analyzed from a daily basis starting all the way back from January 2022 till present day. And as always, I hope you found this information interesting and helpful. Have a great day.